Welcome from the 4x4 Expo. I'm Boris and this is Old School Garage. Doing, buddy? Yeah, good mate. You? So what we're we seeing here, buddy? Uh, XD Diamond chassis. We build new chassis for all Land Rover models. Uh, all parts pressed in one piece. Three mil main rails. Uh, spring mounts pressed in one. Outriggers pressed in one. All parts available. We sell repair parts, complete chassis, and we can supply and fit also. You do supply and fit as well? Yeah, we do. Yeah. So if somebody got a rotted yep. Land Rover, which is quite common these yep. days, they can just drop the whole vehicle Dro off drop to the you, whole vehicle off. you strip it off, yep. you refurbish it. And if somebody just wants the chassis work done, you can just do that, so it yep. don't have to be a full rebuild? No, we don't have to be a full rebuild, we can do anything. What's the turnover to fixing up a chassis and go over uh, it? Supply, supply and fit chassis a week, we'll have your car back in a week. Wow, okay, that's really good. And you just do sections as well if somebody yep. needed? Yep, repair sections, anything you want. Excellent, super. And where they can find you? Uh, www.lr-chassis.co.uk Excellent. Well, if anybody looking for that sort of stuff, they can find you in there. Yeah, hey, good luck, buddy. Yeah, Cheers you too. Thank you. Leon, Oz Parts. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. So we've got DBA brakes. This is a honeycomb steel disc. Bigger surface area, runs cooler, a lot tougher. With pads to match. And we what vehicles are you doing them? Everything? Everything. 4x4 four four and race and rally cars at one end of the scale. Passenger vehicles, armoured vehicles and supercars at the other end of the scale. All oh, right. So for everything basically. Everything. Whatever we need. Yep. Pedder suspension, one of the world's biggest range of heavy duty 4x4 and pickup truck suspension stuff. They've got supercar things as well. And extreme outback clutch, again one of the world's biggest ranges of heavy duty clutches. 4x4 pickup, off-road race and rally. They do clutches for up to two and three thousand horsepower. So if any of you guys have seen land cruisers and patrols drag racing in Dubai, they've got extreme clutches in. So that's what they use? Yep, a lot of them use that stuff. On the suspension wise, is bespoke or is just off order? the shelf? Off, off the, the shelf. shelf, we keep it in stock in the UK and in stock in our warehouse in Torren in Poland as well. Um, all the popular items are here, ready to go for next day delivery. You have a Hilux, you have a Patrol, you have a D Max, you have a Land Cruiser. You can't go wrong with this stuff. Appreciate that, thank you very much, buddy. No worries, man. How you doing buddy, alright? I'm good, thank you, and yourself? Very well, very well. Good, good. So what we've seen here behind you? This is my car. Uh, new car for this year. It's uh, from Portugal. Um, we've worked uh, with Bruno to build this car because uh, I wanted something different. Um, there's a lot of cars that are very similar in the UK, so I thought, what can I do? And we ended up with that. So the car is, it's a one-off. Um, Bruno's made some similar cars to it, but this one's, very different which is nice because we can say it's different to the rest it doesn't look the same as everything else and that's what i like so i like to be you, different you've got a quite cool design on it at the moment yeah uh with so, the sleepy eyes yeah so the eyes came from terry from um kirkby uh, kirkby signs he's great a friend of mine wrapped it mark mark from uh signs great guy loves the sport he's very involved gets in 
he just come up, he wrapped the car, and I gave him two days and he come up with that. It's brilliant. <laughs> you can't go wrong. And he's he's very enthusiastic and I'm very thankful for having him along. Um, yeah. So what we so what wind tree is seen in the front? So in the front is a Gigapin GP100. In the back is also a GP100. Great winches, but they are running our motors. So they're running the Goodwinch Bow 2 Plus. So they're on 12 volt, a 12 volt motor, but they're running 24 volt. So they're twice as, well, nearly twice as speed, not quite twice, but yeah. So that gives us great pulling power for when we're in on rocks or wherever we are, because we can be anywhere in Europe with rocks, bogs, trees, nasty stuff. So they're brilliant. I mean, with the motors and the batteries, obviously the full throttle batteries are amazing. They pull like hell. So great, absolutely love it. <laughs> Right, so other bits you're doing here as well when we're walking back? So, uh, we do bits from TD5 Inside with Jose. Uh, started this five or six years ago with him. Um, just decided, well, let's start selling stuff. Well, I do the shows, he doesn't like people, neither do I. Um, <laughs> <laughs> so then we started Good selling point. stuff. <laughs> exactly. You know, but we like the shows, we like to come around and see everyone, so he doesn't. So we've got this, we're now selling the turbos, so we're selling stuff from Ali Sport with it as well. So we can convey, we can sell you a complete package that starts from your turbo to your intercooler to your clutch, anything you want, we can sell it and fit it, offer the full service, and then obviously remap into how you want that car done. We've got the winches behind winches. you. Winches, uh, this is our main seller. Our TDS 9.5 is a great little winch it sells everywhere um, military use um, off-roading use a lot of people use them as center winches in cars um, they're on a lot of smaller vehicles and we also do a 9.5 and a 12 so you can have different varieties we can also upgrade your motors um, your gear in everything to suit you if what winch you want we can do because that's what you want you don't want an off-the-shelf item but that's not what we do here um, also so we got for the winches and also for a bit of off-roading yeah. as well we've got the straps so, so we've got straps we do a lot of straps any length you want we can get we can get these made to any color you like any length you like any end you like we can do which is very convenient with off-roading these days ropes is again we can sell any length you like anything up to i think it's about 12 kilometers something like that we can do a long rope um hook each end you know but if you want it shorter, longer, whatever, we can sell it. We do two different types. We do a Dyneema bow rope and a Fortuna rope. So depending on your budget and what you want to do. Um, motors, they are there. Um, so our motors, again, they're, they've won so many competitions around the world. They are everywhere. America, Australia, they're all there. And they are amazing. You can rebuild them, they're serviceable, it's quick, it's easy to do, and they're always in stock. We sell thousands of them, it's great. Uh, bumpers, these come from Andy at Wild Bear. They, yeah, Defender, Discovery, D38, D2, D3, D4, D5 actually, all of them. Andy himself is there. Uh, but whatever you need, he can provide. He can, he can make it, if you take something to him, I think he's even put a winch mount on his transit van. So that's quite good and different. Um, other than that, We've got dad's car here on the end, Will Webster's uh, Goodwitch, and yeah, it's nice to see you. <laughs> Cheers, buddy, thank you very much. All right. How you doing, mate? Hi, mate. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. I'm Mark from North Pass Tires. I'm Boris. Wills. How are you, buddy? Uh, nice to meet you. It's a drop dead gorgeous fill in there. Yep. So that's the fuel. That's the fuel arc. Um, we sell that in a various different range of sizes, ranging from sort of like 18 inch all the way through to 22. Um, you've got the fuel flame underneath. 
the fuel flux underneath that. Around the corner, we've got some black rhino wheels. We've got another fuel Zephyr, candy red, fitted up with a 33 12 50 20 radar x mud terrain um, we also stock a complete list complete range of tires ranging from 15 inch all the way through to 24 26 up mud to 26 terrains, all terrains yeah yeah we've got 26 mud terrains in stock fantastic so anything we can help you out with give us a bell drop us an email and we can sort you out How you doing, buddy? How you doing, man? You all right? Good to see you. Good to see you. So, what are we seeing here, buddy? What's well, this is our uh, D-Lander that we built. We're going to take you out to um, Mexico. We're going to do the Nora Mexican 1000 in it. It's a full, uh, full tube frame chassis with fiberglass panels on. I'll show you under the bonnet here. So it's all fiberglass uh, panels. And under the bonnet, it's uh, the TD5 engine from a disco. It runs the TD5 gearbox and axles, all the drivetrain. The idea is then to have some reliability. It's a 1,200-mile race. It's spread over a few days, but we've got to get to the end. What's the mileage you have to do? Um, between 250 and 300 a day, depending on how they set it. Um, some of it's a uh, little road transit sections, a bit like Dakar, a bit like stage rallying. So you'll have a special a transit and then an overnight halt. Um, and it's broken down then over those four days. So you basically went for a full reliability. Exactly. Yeah, we're not uh, we're not chasing for a prize. We're not looking to win. We're looking to finish. It's a long way to ship the car. We've got to make sure it gets to the end. Yeah, that's the whole thing. And the race is finished when the checker flag is dropping, isn't it? So it's not over till it's over. That's it. Yeah. You know, you could be in the last place and you could win the race because till the checker flag is dropped. Exactly. You don't well, know. let's fingers crossed. That'll be that'll be absolutely the cherry on the cake. And. Um, People can follow you somewhere as well, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, people can follow us on the uh, the links on here. Uh, I can zoom in on the, the card there, follow us to Baja. And then if you turn it over, we have the links on the back there. So Excellent. find us on the Instagram or Facebook and uh, get them supporters up. Excellent, mate. Good luck okay, with hey, your journey. Thank you. Thank you, guys. So what you're selling in here, buddy? So we do a lot of, uh, most of our stuff's all off-road parts. Um, so we've got all different axle modifications, steering, um, parts for winches. Uh, so we kind of do a bit of, uh, bit of everything um, for all off-road applications. Because you've got the chassis behind you as well, which has been built at the moment. Yeah, so. Uh, this is a new car that we're building at the minute, um, which hopefully should be done ready for the race season uh, next year. Yeah, because this is a unique build at the moment, isn't it? That's going to be a different than you ever built before. Yeah, so this is uh, a, the, the first one, um, which will be uh, powered by a Volvo T5 engine. Uh, we've got a few bits of modifications to do to that. Um, we're going to mount it to Land Rover gearbox. Obviously, a T5 doesn't come four-wheel drive with a Land Rover box. So we've got bell housings to make and what have you. So it's uh, it'll probably take us a month or so to get those bits done. Uh, then once the engine's in, we can start mounting axles. 
and uh, get going. Yeah, so how was the preparation for this show? Was it difficult to get here on time? You know, to get the truck done because it's literally been done. Probably the viewers don't know because we had that moment when we we're going to continue in the show, and yeah. that was two days ago. Yeah, uh, so we finished it yesterday morning. So Saturday morning, we finished it, show on a Sunday. But we only had a couple of little bits bits to finish off, bolting wheel arches on and giving a bit of a clean bit spit and polish. Yeah, I can see you're really tired as well because uh, when I look at Dan on the camera as well, he looks like he had a really hard day's work. <laughs> you know, just try to get here. Yeah. The problem is when you work hard, we end up going to the pub after. And that's, uh... Oh, did you? <laughs> Hello buddy, it's Boris, how are you? I'm all good, my name's Dan, uh, this is my race car, um, we're Team Rex Racing and this year we're racing the Dirt National Series. Um, the car was built last year by Offroad Armoury, so it's a 2023 model. Um, last year we came second overall in the championship and hopefully this year we can just do it a little bit better. Yeah, so you're running this car for how, how long now, last um, season? This will be the second season, so it was right. brand new to start last year, um, and it was just worked. It, it's been great out of the box. So. Any problem with it? No, only stuff I've inflicted. Uh, no mechanical issues other than what I've, I've caused it. Uh, we run quite a, a low-powered engine setup compared to most, so hopefully it gives us. So, a bit what you're running in there at the moment? Uh, as a 5.7 LS1 V8. Um, but realistically, it's 400 horsepower on a good day. Um, All right, so it's not been over wind up. So it's no, just no, no, it's pretty much stock standard. It's just got, it's just running a, a tune on it, modified tune, but all the internals are standard. Yeah, that's really good. So it's reliable, basically. This is what we build it for: reliability. Everyone else, every, a lot more horsepower, but we've sticking to what we've got. So how long you been racing? Uh, all in all, probably about 15 years now. Uh, we've been doing uh, the faster stuff uh, probably the last nine years, ten years now. Um, I had a couple of years off. We started a family, young kids, and I kind of stepped away from it a bit. But Dirt Nationals drew us back in, and we here we go car. again. Yeah, we, we're going again. It's the adrenaline car. is missing, isn't it? Once you laid it off, you think like, oh, I'm finished with it now. I'm not that interested. Yeah. You're not racing for a couple of years. Yeah, and it, you just need to get back on it. You do. You literally get back, and we've 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 done all right. We've hit the ground running again, and yeah, we're, we're having fun doing it. Nice looking truck, mate. It is. It's um, it's cool. It's it's clean at the moment. In about three four weeks time after our first race, it won't look as clean. Excellent. I appreciate you showing us your truck and it's your story, buddy. No worries. Thank you very Take much. Care. Cheers, Cheers, buddy. Bye. Hello buddy, how are you? Good, thank you. What's your name? Kieran from Kieran. Open Road Adventure. How you doing? So what uh, we're seeing here, buddy, it looks like a full-on outfit for camping gear on a yes. pickup truck. So it's a drop-on demountable um, unit, and basically you outfit it with whatever you want. So you can outfit it with ARB gear, whatever gear you have, and strap your tent to it. But the main thing about this is that you drop it onto your pickup truck and you can go. But when you want to take it all off, you just wheel it back into your driveway back on, put the legs on, lift it off and off you go with your normal pickup truck for the week. So that's what they are in there? Yeah, yeah, so the jacks basically lift the whole system off the back of the pickup truck. We've got two different types of legs. We've got manual cranking ones and then electric self-leveling. So you can press a button, lift it up and off you go, drive away. Oh, fantastic. Um, inside you've got uh, solar panels on the roof, lithium battery, 
hot and cold water, 60 litres of cold water, 15 litres of hot, um, enough power to keep you going for at least four days without any sun. And then you just plug it into your vehicle to keep the charge up. So that's our main product. Um, and then we also do a full camper van version. So you can go inside and stay inside there as well. So it's a full camper. But we also outfit the vehicles to take, the, take you wherever you want to go. So this is our main system. But then to be able to get to places where you want to go and camp, we outfit the vehicles with Piac gear, ARB front bumpers, warm winches, ARB suspension, and you name it basically, we can get it and we outfit the vehicles to get you where you want to go. Excellent, so you're fitting these kits as well and people can buy the kits separate as well? Yes, that's it, so, so the backs can be bought separately and then we've got an online shop where we sell all the parts for the vehicles as well. Excellent, lovely bit of kit buddy. And I see you got some proper camping gear out there as well. So you got the hob in there, if you go to the back. Yeah, yeah, so in the back you got a full kitchen. Um, you can outfit it with every, whatever you want, but this one's set up with a full kitchen, fridge, and a, an output for your gas point, and a hot and cold water to wash your dishes. Oh, wow. And everything just, you pushing the drawers in, push yeah, it back so in, collapse it all the way, shut it down, and it looks like a normal canopy. You wouldn't even notice that it was a, a full camper. Excellent. Thank you for showing us your vehicle, buddy. No, worries, no problem. Cheers, Thank buddy. You. Cheers. Hi buddy, it's Boris. Hi, I'm Lawson Cooper. This is my car, it's a 1961 Bojangle Can-Am. Uh, one of only six built in Manchester during the 1970s. It's an American design car, uh, which was called Humbug back in America. Uh, three guys from Manchester bought one over to the UK and they started producing them. Unfortunately- Obviously, obviously there's a reason I've not never seen one. Yeah, because it's the only one on the road in the UK at the moment. I know there's others out there being built, but uh, yeah, it's the only one out there. Can you show us around on the car? Yeah, sure, so, yeah. So basically, <coughs> basically, it's uh, a standard sized um, Volkswagen Beetle chassis. There's five inches being taken out of the front beam, between the top hat and the, the front beam. Um, so the, the, the actual floor pan's are the right size, um, standard yeah, size. Uh, obviously, with all beach buggies you can make them your own so i've um obviously got uh cool booth seats porsche roll bar um the uh the steering racks off a of mark one uh, ford escort engines have a porsche 914 which is an 1800 um but yeah so it's uh it's just unique really how long you own this car for uh bought it on st patrick's day uh, 2016 so what's well, do the math it's um good eight years. years yeah so it's a complete um rebuilt case so i had to ship it all down put new floor pans in my friend carl over there he helped me uh do it and he was the uh the inspiration to get on back on the road but yeah so it took us three years to get back up here and the reason i like coming here to stafford today is the fact that we were first for an hour it was in 2019 here so it's uh it's like a, an anniversary for me. Excellent. And what's the plan with it? You're going to keep it, I guess. Is yeah, yeah. I mean, I, such a unique car. Yeah, I mean, I, I, um, I mean, I race it on uh, the raceaways at Bridlington, which is um, this is in um, in May this year. So you can race against other cars on the beach. 
So you're racing everything between you know, the American hot rods and the V8s and the Mustangs. So it's, it's really good fun. And the fact you're racing on the beach, which is, uh, say, pretty unique in the UK anyway. It is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it's, 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 it's good fun. Thank you, thank you, thank you for showing us your car because it's lovely, and hopefully we can do a full video with this yeah, car, yeah, yeah, sure, showing yeah, yeah. the viewers as well. I appreciate that, buddy. Nice to meet you. Yeah. Nice to meet you as well. So what are we seeing here? That's your daily driver, as I heard yes. from the boys. Yes. That's a South African Kango body from the, from the mid '80s. And you built this car? I built this car. The body came from Dave Fisher's Kingfisher Customs in Birmingham. It's one of 12 in the UK. It's on a P-Reg 1975 Beetle chassis. Running a Fiat 2 litre twin cam. 2 litre twin cam Fiat engine. Yeah, out of a Fiat 131. It's got 220,000 miles on the clock now. It's a daily driver since 1986. And you built it in it's 1986? It's old and tatty. Yeah, it's been used every day since. Wow. That's why it looks tatty. Yeah, but it's been used every single day. Yeah. And a uh, lovely wife sitting in the back. We're not going to probably hear that in a camera at the moment, but uh, it's not supposed to be her car. It is supposed to be her car because she was pregnant at the time. It was to put the children in, but she never had it. She had a Beetle instead. Oh, you but still stay, stayed in the same kind of family, isn't it, car-wise? Yeah, so I kept this all me, all me life. And you're still daily driving it? Still, yeah. The only trouble is now it's expensive on the road tax because it's on a key plate. I've got my own beach buggy. All right, so that's what... Jad's long wheelbase. And Keith built me that uh, nine, ten years ago. Right. Yeah, so I've got one of my own. Yeah. Finally. Yes. Yes, because... Mine's a bit more... It's a little bit blingy, but not, you know... But here Need a bit of shine on it. Yes, yes. <laughs> I'm getting a, a, a roof made soon. Hopefully next week. And hopefully the viewer is going to see it. That's the Mrs. Car. Yeah. Bright yellow. Looks lovely. It's citrus green. Citrus green. Okay. Yes. Looks yellow, but citrus green. Yes, on a on a camera because I show you through a camera through a camera. Yeah. It looks yellow, but yellow. yes, it, when you look at it on the phone, yes, it's yeah. Lovely car. Yeah. So that's mine. Excellent. Yeah. Mm. Hopefully going to see you next time with that car. Yes. In a read-up show in uh, Eversham, isn't it? Eversham Dubs in the middle, yes. Excellent. Yes. Nice yeah. to meet you as well. And you. Here is some cool-looking t-shirt design. You can buy it on Amazon.com, Amazon.co.uk, and every purchase you make, you helping my channel growing. I leave the link in description. If you're new to this channel and you haven't subscribed, this is the time now. Drop me a like as well. I hope you enjoyed today's episode and I see you at the next time. Bye.